How serious are you thinking about fighting past the, the fights left on your Showtime contract? I never said that I was going to do that. But what I am going to do is go out, go out there in September 13th and be sharp as a razor. Be extremely sharp. And if, I mean, you know, if the price is right for number 50, then it's possible. Could that well, fight be in Brooklyn? I was with Brett Yormark yesterday at the win. He said his goal is to get Floyd Mayweather fighting Barkley Center before Floyd Mayweather's finished fighting. How realistic is that goal on his part? I, I mean, you know, everything takes time. We, can, mm -hmm. we, cannot, we can't really say what the future holds, but as of right now, MGM Grand is what it is, Las Vegas is what it is, and I'm going to go out there and perform. Boy, is it going to fight the new MGM that's getting built, the new garden? Um, Get one fight in before you walk out. I, I can't really say at this particular time. I can't really say. It. But what I can say is MGM Grand has been loyal to me, and I've been loyal to them. And we have a, a great relationship. And I love fighting in Las Vegas. But it, it, it has always been one of my ultimate goals was to fight in New York City. Floyd, do you, do you honestly think that sometimes you get the impression that some fighters want to fight you for... Has this, have you ever gotten the impression that sometimes fighters want to fight you for the payday rather to. than get the W? If, if I was a walk away, I would want to fight Floyd Mayweather. Mm -hmm. Even though I took a loss, I would want to fight. No, we got it. We got it. Like, like I said before, all my, every move I make, and my thought, my thought process is totally different from everyone else's. Now, if I knew that I couldn't beat Floyd Mayweather, I'm still gonna try to fight him. Yeah. And I'm gonna, even if he kicked my ass, I'm gonna try to survive. Just to say, I fought the best.